It is full moon night, and there is only darkness everywhere in the forest. The howling of wolves is so loud that someone's bad time is going to come today. There is a small township inside this forest adjacent to the highway, which lives naturally inside the forest, away from the ostentatious comforts of the world, which the people of the world consider to be a backward class. But the government wants them to accept today's world and live like other countrymen, leaving the forest for which they go to meet them in the forest. But the people of the tribe living in the township do not like to meet them at all. That too especially on the day of full moon, because they do not want the people of the world to know the secret which they have been hiding for centuries. That is why the tribal people of the township siege their entire village before sacrificing their lives on the night of full moon. But the agency placed after them by the government keeps a close watch on them, and especially on the full moon day, because they want to find out what they do on the full moon night. Adam along with his two other teammates have been in the forest for many nights so that they too can join them on the special day of those tribals. But the tribal people, through Adam and his two companions, Ken and James out of the forest on the night before the full moon and surrounded them, also made him understand that if he stays away from them tonight then everything will be fine. Ken and James were enraged at their attitude and even started threatening in the name of the government. But on a signal from Adam, both of them calmed down, while Adam's eyes fixed on a girl from the tribe, from whose deer-like eyes pearl-like tears were dripping. Because living with Adam in the forest for so many days, she had become attached to him, and she wanted that Adam should never go away from her. But following her tradition, and hiding the secret of the clan, she had to say goodbye to Adam. After they left, Ken said with a blush, Adam sir, after all, what was the use of spending so many days with these savages, when we were thrown out on that day, which we are hoping for? Don't worry Ken, I will bring out the truth. But how sir, they won't let us enter. You don't worry. I have found out about a secret way to get inside. But only I will go inside, you both will wait for me." After explaining everything to his companions, Adam reached near a cave on the other side of the forest, the one which goes to the settlements of the tribal people. The afternoon sunlight was about to get diminished by the mesmerizing evening. In the meantime, lighting a torch, he set out towards the path he had found inside the cave, and by the time he reached the village on the other side, the restless evening was ready to turn into night, along with the full moon. Adam secretly entered their village, but their colony was completely empty. There was silence in every house, as if no one lived there. Then someone put a hand on Adam's shoulder from behind, after which his breath got stuck due to fear, because he felt that he was caught, which could have meant his death as well. But as soon as he turned back, the line of worry disappeared from his forehead, and he said, You had scared me, Lily. You will have to be afraid, because if anyone other than me sees you here, your death is certain. And you will come to know in a short while what you want to see. But try to hide in a place where even I can't see you. As soon as Lily said this, there was a loud sound of some trumpets and drums playing from behind the forest, which were playing in the same melody. Where is the sound coming from? When Adam turned back to see, he found that the flames were rising somewhere far away in the forest. Then as soon as he turned back to Lily, to ask something so she was not there at all, Adam understood that he had to complete the journey ahead of himself, 
Hearing the sound of drums, Adam reached the place where the people of the entire clan had gathered. He was watching everything from behind the bushes and started listening. The sound of the drums playing continuously comes to a halt as soon as their Kiev shows his hand and then with the sound of the trumpets their chief gets up and looking at everyone says Full moon day comes every month but that full moon of the year is very dangerous when we use our desired powers to take that form so that our dynasty can move forward and today is the same full moon let's just wait for the full moon let's call it together as soon as chief said this the trumpets and the drums started playing once again and all the people sitting on one knee one after the other start calling the moon while patting their chest with both hands adam does not understand much seeing them doing all this but only then something happens seeing which adam's eyes get teary and he slips and falls down at this time seeing adam's eyes filled with fear it can be clearly understood that there is something in front of him which can destroy him adam runs away after saving his life if he does not run today he will never be able to run again so even after falling he was just running away to save his life such sounds were coming from behind as if a herd was following him but he reaches the cave from where he came after saving his life as soon as he reaches there he first closes the mouth of that cave with the help of a big stone from the other side of which terrible sounds of the wolves are coming. But Adam ran without thinking anything else and somehow managed to reach the other side of the cave where his companions are waiting for him. But in reaching there, he gets so injured that he cannot stand in front of them even for a second and falls there in a fit of rage. And when he opens his eyes, the scene of that night itself is roaming in the mind, and two companions and senior officers were also standing in front of him. Only then Adam realized that his beard had grown out of his face, and he was strangely dressed like a patient. Before that he could think of something else, his senior told him, You have woken up after a whole month, Adam and we are waiting for you to wake up. Now tell me, what did you see there that your condition has become like this? Hearing the name of that night, Adam once again gets lost in that scene. When he saw the whole tribe turning into wolves together in the light of the moon in front of his eyes, and also when the whole pack of wolves pounced on him like death, then how Lily, who herself was in the form of a wolf, gave him a chance to escape from there. And today, he is standing here alive. Adam had just come out of his thoughts when his senior said again, Adam, whatever you saw, don't delay in telling. And tell me, what's up there? It's a full moon and we can catch them red-handed and throw them out of the forest, but you say something. With this, the lights go off in the entire hospital and through the glass window in Adam's room on the sixth floor. The light of the moon coming out of the clouds starts reaching and his attitude also starts changing along with it. He clearly hears the sound of the drum in the forest miles away playing in his ear and also the order of the leader of the clan that Lily should be killed because she has broken the rule of the clan. Adam got up from the bed on hearing this, takes out the pipe of saline from hand and says, Go away from here and leave them alone. If they're not bothering you, then why are you intruding into their lives? Well done, Adam. Now you have started speaking the language of those jungle men. Hey, the government wants to give them the same status as the rest of the human beings. They don't want any status. 
stay away from them. Otherwise, they will become a threat to the entire human race just by one wrong step of yours. Security, take Adam in custody, and now I will see personally. How those savages survive, I will use full force to vanish them. Those people are holding billions of land. I will not let them go like this. Even after repeated refusal of Adam, his senior does not listen to him and leaves from there. And the security starts moving towards Adam. Then Adam pats his chest on his knees while looking at the moon outside the window and slowly his body takes the form of a ferocious werewolf. Seeing Adam turning into a wolf, the security's mind started wandering. Or rather, his condition got battered. So he takes out his gun. But it doesn't work on Adam. Then Adam, who turned into a wolf, picks him up with both his hands and throws him out of the window and himself goes out and walks on the hospital building and then at a high speed goes towards the woods and when he reaches the woods sees that all preparations have been made to kill Lily just the weapon was left to be used on the neck but before they could kill Lily Adam pounces on him in the form of a werewolf and takes Lily with him to the chief and comes back to his original form. But before the chief says anything, Adam tells him everything, that they will be attacked to clear the woods. But the chief does not believe his words. Rather, he gets angry on this thing, that their powers have now come in him too. But the very next moment, they were surrounded from all sides, and the chief had also understood that Adam's story was true. Then at the behest of their leader, all men took the form of wolves and rushed forward to attack. But there is rapid firing from the forest force and after the ambush, the remaining wolves find a place in the forest and runs towards it. The trouble averted. But sir, how did the people turn into wolves? Why would we care? We want clearance of the forest land from them, and we get money and promotion in return. So keep in mind that what you saw here should remain till here. Okay, I need to receive the call, get everything cleared. Yes, sir, the job is done. Now if you can extract diamond or gold from here, you see, just remember your promise. The man will come and use even future. Greedy humans got the land after destroying the tribe. But what will happen when these innocent tribal people fled from the forest to the city will turn into werewolves on the next full moon?